Hello guys. In previous videos, we have learned how to create rooms in Socket.io. We learned how to create multiple rooms and we were able to share messages among the rooms. In this video, we will learn how to create rooms dynamically. Since in previous tutorials, we, were, we have created two rooms in a static way. In this video, we will learn how to create rooms dynamically and we can create rooms on run times. So let's get started. Go to your index.html and we will create a input text and a button so that we can create rooms dynamically and enter their name in the input fields here is an text create rooms and let's create an input defining its id input rooms and a button so that this will create a new room having name from the input now let's check our design Okay, the design seems fine. Now let's create a script for the button function. calling the input element to get its value and we will add this text from the input to our body in the form of uh, a tag we will create the route and pass the reference sorry pass the parameter <coughs> having the value of the room name and also the a tag name would be the room name Okay, as you can see, a tag was created but was not the line below. So, headings a br new line after the button and let's check. Okay, it is now below our input. Okay, now we have created dynamically a text. 
we will copy the code from the engineers html and create a new file named as rooms.html and we will define some parameters dynamically in it Now in index.js we will create another route named as room we will get parameter named as room from this route. and we will render the page directory name The rooms route will open the page named as rooms.html. And we will pass the parameter to this HTML. Now before moving ahead we will install two packages one is EGS that will allow us to render our parameters in our rooms.html file and we need to install the part package I have already declared these variables at the top and I have created an array rooms list. Now in rooms.html we will declare the heading to display our room name. We will call EGS syntax that will allow us to render our parameters pass through the render function in our rooms.html. So I should display our room name at the top and let's replace this variable static name to the room name as well
Now let's run and check. Call host 3000, type in a room name as it run. And you can see how this room is created and improved. But there is a problem that when we will open another page, you will not be able to find the exit already created. So let's fix this problem. We are creating a function. This will be called whenever a room is created in a client, and this will uh, push the room name to the server array, which is named as room list, as I have already defined in index.js. The route is add room. Add room will be called from text.html whenever the room is created. Passing the param room name. We are sending an HTTP request to our server from the client to save our room name to the server. Now in index case, let's copy the route function. Change the endpoint as at home. We will receive the param from the endpoint and push it in our room list array. We will also console the room list from what if there is an error. And send back the response of 200 to the client. Now let's run and check the app again. Refresh. In time, create room, refresh. Okay, there's some error, I guess. Okay, I forgot to create a function in the index.html to display our rooms array. So let's comment out this and copy this render function and change the file name in this HTML and pass and room list oh, in the index.html. We will create a loop to display our rooms already created and that are available in the room list array.
let's create a variable named as rooms and get the value I guess I have to split because it is in the form of array and array string and it will have the comma in between the values so I have to split and then use it. So let's create a condition if the name is not equal to blank string, we will insert it in our process. Let's copy the a tag functionality and paste it. Let's run our app and check if it is working or not. Refresh, creating a room, in turn. Let's check here. Okay, I guess I have missed something. Okay, I forgot to call this function when I have a created. And it was not pushing our room name in the list in the server. Now let's check. Room is created. Now let's check. Okay, yes, I did miss something again. Okay, here's the plus sign. Now let's run the Refresh, refresh, create room, enter, refresh, and that's it. Now let's join and check. And you can see the message is transmitted in between them. The rooms are created dynamically, and messages are received in the Plants. So this is how you can create rooms dynamically in Circuit Tutorial and there are I guess more methods to do this but I found this way the easier way I should do. So if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. In the next video I will be showing how you can uh, use socket tile without the web browser and you will learn how to use socket tile client package. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.